girls just like I like my honey Sweet A little selfish huh. I like my women like I like my money Green A little jealous Oh, I'm beautiful, right? A colorful What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is of course going to be a tutorial on this look right here, which I can't stop staring at it, especially the foiled shadow on the lids. Like, do you guys see what I'm seeing right now? Because I'm obsessed. When I sat down to film this video, I knew that I really wanted to do like a drugstore affordable makeup tutorial, but I wanted it to be super glam. And I also wanted to incorporate the color of Olive, which if you know me, I really like my neutrals. I like black, white, nude, and then I like olive. I don't know, I just feel like it really complements my skin tone nicely and on my eyes, like I'm obsessed. If you guys wanna see how I did it, keep on watching, cause it is, as I said, a drugstore slash affordable makeup tutorial. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below, as well as the notification bell. So you can stay updated with all the videos I post by hitting that bell. You just get notified straight away to your phone when I upload a video. As usual, I'm gonna start things off by priming my face. Today, I'll be using the NYX Angel Veil Primer. So I'm just putting that onto the Real Techniques Stippling Brush and then pretty much just applying it to my face. Sometimes I just prefer to use a brush as opposed to using my hands to apply primer to my skin. I just feel like it's a lot cleaner and I guess sanitary. I didn't realize how much of a white cast that primer has, but um, anyway, we're just gonna go with it. So onto foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. This one is in the shade at number 34 soft bronze. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that all over my face and then I'm using a dampened Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge to blend it into the skin. All right, so foundation is on. Next up, I'm gonna do a little bit of quick color correcting. You guys already know what I'm gonna be using, the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Peach Corrector. As always, just taking a swipe underneath each eye and then I'm using the Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush to blend that into the skin. Next up, I am of course going to conceal. So today I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is definitely an oldie but a goodie. I remember going through tubes of this as a teenager. So as you guys can see, I'm just applying that in all the usual areas that I like to conceal and also highlight. So underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, above my brows, and a little bit on my chin. And again, I'm just using the dampened Miracle Complexion Sponge from Real Techniques to blend that all out. I totally forgot how good that concealer is. Like. That's a pretty good concealer for being drugstore. Before I set anything, I know I'm always all about like, oh my God, we gotta quickly set it, but I want to cream contour. So before I go onto my face with any type of powder, I am going to contour. Today I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick. This one is in the shade number 330, Toffee Caramel. Cause I wanna go glam today. So cream contouring to me signifies like intense glam. And as you guys can see, I am going in pretty generously with this. So as usual, just all the areas that I like to contour, like my cheekbones, around my hairline, my nose and my jaw. I'm getting help from a brush for my nose. I'm just using the Real Techniques Shading Eye Brush. It's actually an eyeshadow brush, but you know, rather than going straight onto my nose with the product itself, I feel like a brush gives you a little more control. So to buff out the rest of that cream contour, I am using the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. And I'm pretty much just spending my time blending and buffing until I feel like it looks all nice and seamless. Okay, can I just say, holy cheekbones, like where did they come from? I get now why Kim Kardashian likes to cream contour all the time, because I mean. Anyway, now that all that cream contour is all blended and set into the skin, as you can see, the concealer under my eyes has, can you tell, it's creased up. Yeah, because I haven't set it yet. So I'm just gonna go back in with the sponge just to get everything nice and, um, you know, settled back into the right spot. It's honestly inevitable that your concealer is going to crease up if you don't set it straight away. So that's why I had to go back in and like pat everything back down. But now I am going to set it. So I'm using the Wet n Wild, what is this? Contouring palette. This one is in Dulce de Leche. And I'm gonna take, um, wait, the yellow. Yeah, the banana shade. 
I'm just taking that on the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush and I'm just going to go in and of course I am going in to my under eye area and all the other areas that I applied concealer to set it in place. Since this is a banana powder as well, like it's got that yellow tone, it is really going to help brighten up those areas even more. While we're here, I may as well go ahead and bronze up my face. So I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer for that. I'm taking that on the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. I'm pretty much running this over the same areas where I contoured. So this is going to further bronze up the skin and also somewhat set that contour in place so it doesn't move. I'm going to finish off the rest of my face a little later. So for now, I'm going to get started on the eyes. First up, I am of course going to prime them using the NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone. So I'm applying that all over the lids right up to the brow. I'm using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. And as you guys can see, I am setting that base in place. I'm just using the same powder that I used to set my concealer. So for this eyeshadow look today, I am going to be using... I can open it. A bunch of different Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So these are just some of my collection that are in my Z palette. Let me quickly show you guys my other one. I was pulling out shadows I wanted to use for this tutorial and I discovered this, like, <laughs> so sad. And I really wanted to use that color too, which sucks, but um, yeah. Anyways, like I was saying, I am going to be using all Makeup Geek eyeshadows for this look, and I'm gonna be starting out with this one for the crease as my transition shade. This is Tiki Hut. So I'm taking that on the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and buff that into my crease and blend it out as I go. As I said, this is going to be my initial transitional crease shade. So as you can see, I'm just running that back and forth through my crease all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner of my eye blending and smoking it out as I go. While I'm here, I am also going to run that shadow along my bottom lash line and smoke it out. So this time I'm using the Zoeva 230 Lux Pencil Brush because I do like to mimic what's going on on the crease along my bottom lash line. And as you can see, I'm somewhat connecting it up to that outer corner of the eye as well. So next up, I am going to go into this shadow called Coco Bear and I'm using the Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush to apply that to pretty much the same area that I applied Tiki Hut, but I'm not going to smoke it out as much as I did with that first shade. So this is really going to help define the eye and add some depth to it. And once again, I am going right along the bottom lash line with that shadow as well, using the same Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush, just keeping it a little closer to the lash line this time to help define the eye even more. So next up, I am going to go in and apply a darker shadow to the outer corners of my eyes. And I'll be using this one today. This is called Butter Bing. And as you can see, it's like a dark chocolate brown with gold shimmering reflex throughout it. So I'm just taking that on the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. And I'm starting on the outer corner of my eyes dragging it inwards towards the center of the lid, but I'm really concentrating on keeping it on that outer third of the lid space. Okay, so for the most part, that dark shadow is down. It's not super neat, but that's okay. I'm just going to go in and just take the blending brushes that I used previously, just to blend at that edge, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect just yet because we still need to go in and apply the Poppin Lid Shade, which I'll show you which one I'm going to use in just a sec. So we're going to be using this baby today. This is one of Makeup Geek's foiled eyeshadows in the shade Venom. Let me just quickly show you before I apply it onto my lids, like the intensity of this foiled shadow. So I have nothing on my fingers and then look at this. Ready? Do you see that? Mm, I'm about to put that on my eyes. So as you can see, these foiled eyeshadows, they are something intense. So I'm taking that on the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. And just to make it even more poppin', I have sprayed my brush with some facial spray. You can use Fix Plus, whatever. I just use the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. And that is really going to help with packing the color onto the lid, making it super intense, and give it that extra poppin' foiled look. So initially, I'm just packing this onto the lid and blending it into the crease a little, as well as into that outer corner color, which, mind you, I will be going back in with previous brushes that I've used to blend everything in place, but initially we just want to get that color packed onto the lid nice and intensely. So that's looking super intense and I'm really into it, but I actually, I feel like I want to add something more to it. So I'm going to go into this 
foiled shadow. I can't even talk properly. Yes, this is another foiled shadow in the shade Take Two. I'm just gonna add this more so on the inner corner of the lids like on that first third, just to kind of add a little something something to it. I mean, it's barely even a difference, but it has more of a gold undertone to it, this shade. So I feel like it brings like a nice transition between the two. Yeah, I feel like that looks a lot better. It kind of adds a little more depth and definition to the eyes. And I like the kind of golden undertone that it gives as well. All right, so now that all of the shadows are on my lid, as you can see, it's looking very intense in the crease with that harsh line that's going on. So what I'm gonna do is go back in with the brush that I used to apply the second crease shade. And I'm just gonna go in and pretty much just sit here and blend till I'm happy with the way that it looks. I mean, you definitely could leave it as it was, but for me, I just, I don't know, I prefer for it to be a little more blended. I'm also just gonna go back into the outer corner of my eye and just, um, intensify that just a little bit. I haven't added any extra shadow, just whatever is left on the brush is what I'm blending through, just to make sure that it's nice and blended on the outer corner when it goes from the shimmery shade to the matte shade. I'm also just going to add a little bit of that dark brown shade along the bottom lash line, connecting it up once again to the outer corner of my eyes, but I'm really only applying this on the outer third of the eye. For the inner corners and brow bone, I am going to go in with the highlighter that I'll be using today, this is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. And I'm using the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader to apply this to those areas. Next up, I'm just giving my lashes a curl and then I'm going in with mascara. I'll be using the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. Just applying a heavier coat to my bottom lashes and going lighter on the top because you already know that I'm going to be going in with falsies for this look. Alrighty, so for falsies today, I am going to be going in with these ones. These are by Vegas Ney in collaboration with Ilua in the style Shining Star, as you can see. Pretty, pretty wispy, but like not too intense, which lately I've been really into the wispy yet toned down lash. Like I don't want something that's going to overtake the eye and cover up all this work that I've done. So I'm gonna be going on with these today. I'm just using a Revlon Lash Adhesive to apply those. And as you can see, I mean, they're pretty wispy, but they're not intense to the point where they overtake the whole eye look and just cover everything up. Alrighty, time to finish off the rest of the face. I've already contoured, bronzed. I'm not gonna apply any blush, but I just wanna quickly run some of this over my cheeks. This is the Milani Baked bronzer in number five Soleil. I'm just only taking a little bit of this to the apples of my cheeks just because it has that gold sheen throughout it. Of course for highlighter I already said I was going to be using this the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter in molten gold and I'm just applying that onto my face with the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush. Can you guys believe that I'm actually hitting pan on this highlighter? That just goes to show how much I like it and how much I use it and I swear if you don't have this, you're missing out. It's like a must have, especially because of the fact that it is drugstore. All that's left to do now are the lips. So I'm firstly going to line them using this. This is the Rimmel Lip Liner in Natural. I swear Rimmel Lip Liners are some of the best lip liners out. They're super creamy, opaque, and they just glide on really easily. Plus, I mean, they're super inexpensive, so what more could you want? You guys already know I am about to go in with a nude, and I'm using this one from NYX. I haven't used this for the longest time, but this is like a nude nude. This is their lipstick in Cirque. I think that's how you pronounce it, but as you can see, it's pretty nude. Let's go in with some lip gloss, because that's like, mm, that's very, very nude and I don't think it looks that good. So let's go in with some lip gloss. This is the Maybelline Elixir lip gloss in shade Nude Illusion. This has a little bit of a peachy undertone to it, so hopefully it'll kind of tone it down a little bit. Okay, there we have it, guys. This is, wait, this is probably my favorite makeup look that I've done in a really long time. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the little red subscribe button down below, as well as that notification bell so that you get all the notifications for every video that I upload. As usual, I'm gonna leave a list of everything I used throughout the video down in the description box below, where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys wanna keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat, all that stuff can be found 
down below. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you in the comments and I shall see you all in my next video. Escape with you